All right, hello viewer. Today I am going to be on a very shaky table, apologies, going to be ranking all of the root meeples in a, a tier list, because that's how the internet likes to do these. We're going to be doing the original root, the Riverfolk expansion, and the Underworld expansion. Um, try and ignore how dry my hands are. It's winter, they get dry, whatever. And a quick little uh, thing for you. This is actually empty, the Riverfolk one, because I don't feel like pulling out three boxes when I want to play, so they're all in here, the uh, expansions. So let's get the uh, tier thing here. Got it all on a whiteboard. Oh, that's upside down. Hold on. Gotta get that in the middle. Okay, that's about centered. Gotta get some actual studio lights at some point, man. I, I'm trying to make these videos, but I, I ain't a professional, dude. I don't get paid for this. Okay, let's see. We got uh, bags, 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 bags. Uh, those ones got some in them. That's not gonna damage the box. One thing I really enjoy about Root is just how uh, tight the packaging is. Like, there's no, no, like, air left in here. It's, it's completely packed with stuff, which is pretty neat. The other hand, though, it makes it kind of a pain because, uh, it, especially with the new ones, it's a really tight box. Like, I can barely get my fingers into it. So, let me just get... Get a delegate from each of these, each of these factions. Gotta get these boys out. Who do we got right here? Is that all the big bonds? There's so many tiles in this bag. I think that's right. Man, I'm gonna have to edit out this whole section. It's uh, a lot more meeples than I thought. I can deal. Okay, got my boys in a row. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Uh, water break. Stay hydrated, kids. Okay, starting out, the Marquise meeple. Now this, this is a classic guy right here. It's got uh, one side is printed, the other is not. It's got the iconic shape of the marquee, very cat-like. He, he's just a, he's a rapscallious little guy. Look at this, look at this expression. This guy is ready to start some trouble. And in a war game, you gotta be able to start some trouble. So, hmm, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure if I trust him, but I'd say, I'd say he's like, uh, let's put him in the A category. He's gonna go right up there. Apologies for my shaky hands. I just, I, I have shaky hands, okay? Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me for my shaky table. Shaky hands, doing my best. Next up, the Eerie Meeple. So this is for the Eerie Dynasties. Again, this classic. This is the first one where it's, it's turned in a profile shot like that, which without the eye on the other side makes it a little, a little off to me. That's a problem I have with a lot of the profile ones. Not that this is like a low quality Meeple by any, stretch. Yeah, having that profile, I don't know. I know it would have been nice to get it double printed, but I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, once again, this is a real, real angry boy. As we, as we go into these, there's not many that are actually that like angry and sassy like these first two, but hmm, is that a positive or a negative? <sighs> I'm liking his look. I, I am enjoying this guy, <sighs> but he's a little, ooh, I want to say bland, you know, he's just kind of a blue bird. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put him in B, I think. He's he's a quality guy, but he's about middling, you know, a little above average. All right, next up, Woodland Alliance. Now this guy, this is the guy right here. This little green toast boy. Oh yeah, that's, that's a quality little man. I love these guys. My one problem with these is that you only get 10 in the set. I would love to have a bunch of these little toast mans, but Unfortunately, now you get just the one. Now, with the toast, it does, uh, the toast shape, it does make me kind of hungry, but then the green, mmm, green makes it a little less, less desirable. Ah, uh, gosh, I just, I love him so much, you know? He's, he's the classic guy, and when, when I show this to people new, this is the first one I show them. I'm like, look at this little toast guy. So, I'm gonna put him, he's our first S tier. Great, great guy. Next up, we're gonna do the Vagabonds. Classic Vagabond, original set, little gray raccoon. He's a little shifty-eyed, you know, looking left, looking right, kind of, kind of wondering what's going on. And when everybody's out against you and you're the only one by yourself in the woods, you know, keep your head on a swivel. I'd say, yeah, I like, I like how he stands out on the board. Usually, I do like his, uh, his general demeanor. It's a very pleasing shade of gray. It's not just like dull. It's, it's still bright and vibrant without being, you know blinding, like some uh, really light grays. Yeah, there's so much personality. That's one thing that I really love about all of the meeples in Root is that there's so much personality embedded in just a few, a few paint strokes and, well, I guess ink strokes, and this, this lovely shape. It's, it's so good, it's so readable. And this guy, 
classic guy, but compared to some of the other Vagabonds, uh, I'm gonna say he's a B again. He, he's he's good, he's classic, but he's, he's just a little above average. Riverfolk expansion, Vagabond. Now this, this is where things get interesting. He's pretty much just a photo negative of the other one, but uh, this is the first one, I believe, where it's uh, it's not just the, the plain white, or rather the plain uh, black marks for the the face. It's it's inverted, it's this white paint. And while he's not that different, he, he's definitely a bit newer. And it was always nice to be able to tell people like, hey, there's some variety. You can go with the, uh, the expansion Vagabond or the original Vagabond. So I'd say I actually put him a little higher. I'd say, uh, let's put him at A. The Riverfolk Mercantile Otter. I'm, I'm doing these in release order, basically, so once we get to those other Vagabonds, it's going to be interesting. But uh, this guy, this guy, he's, he's kind of doing a little bit for me with the, the mouse, you know, very round, very, very kind of happy and peppy. He looks very pensive, you know, very introspective. He's he's thinking about, like, why why do we have to fight, you know? We could just be selling stuff. We could be having a bake sale, relaxing. But instead, we're fighting, so... He's making as money as he can, but he's just, uh, he, he's staying out of it for the most part. And I appreciate that, you know? Make money, not war. Wait, that's probably not great. Honestly, gosh, should I pull in the fact that he is such a hyper-capitalist? I think I gotta, yeah. Not really big on the, the hyper-capitalist war profiteering thing, so I'm gonna put him, honestly, I'm gonna put him at a D. I, I like his look, but, uh, knowing what he's all about, can't, can't get into it, dude. Can't get into it. Lizard cult meatball. Now this guy, well this guy right here, I, I really, really love the lizard folk and just, just look at this little smirk. Look at this little smirk on his face, he knows what he's up to. Yeah, he's part of a cult. Yeah, they're killing off their members to uh, appease the dragon god, but uh, you know, I, I can't help but enjoy this face. He's got that kind of, that half moon eye thing going on, which makes him just so delightful. He's got that little, little happy smile, little happy smile. He's letting you know, hey, come on, join us, follow the dragon, it'll be good. It'll be, it'll be good, we swear, it'll be good. So, uh, I'm gonna put him under, oh gosh. I mean, I like his look a lot, but I think uh, with the cult, that's not, that's not so good, dude. They're killing people off, it's pretty dark. I'm gonna say C, C for cult. Next up, we've got all of the custom Vagabond meeples. Hmm, I'm actually gonna have to, hold on. <laughs> I gotta pull out the cards to see what all of them are. Let's see, okay, we already did the thief and the Ronin, right? Yeah, okay, we did the Thief and the Ronin. Okay, so let's see. Vagrant, all right, I like this guy. Mine has a little bit of a misprint, you might see. There's a couple of grooves in the ear. I kind of like having a misprint, you know? Makes it feel more, it's mine. It's not the same one you'd get in any box. This is the one that, that came in my box, which which I like. That might bump it a couple points here. But uh, yeah, I just, I love a possum. I, I love that, uh, the the red there that's that's bright that's when they really start getting colorful is in these ones which i really appreciate it's it's not as clean cut with the uh with the red i don't think the red quite pops on the gray and in fact looks a little little smudgy hold on let me yeah it looks a little smudgy that might be part of the misprint on it i don't know i would have liked him if he was a little more screamy like he is on the card like uh the card there so uh, i guess Honestly, gonna say that's a B. That's a B there. I love the card. I love the character, but uh, yeah, that meeple is uh, doesn't quite stack up. Ranger meeple. All right, now we get into the the edgy guys. This guy, he's got the 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 messed up eye there, and it's right on there with the uh, empty the empty pupil iris. Is it both when it's like this? I guess it's only indicating the pupil, but uh, yeah. I, I like that. I like the detail in the little little marks for the eyebrows, which we saw on the uh, Woodland Alliance back there. Hmm. Yeah, I like this guy. He's he's darker. You know, it's it's still gray, but he differentiates himself from the uh, the uh, I believe Ronin Meeple. I'm gonna say yeah. This is a this is this is a nice guy right here. I'm gonna have to say honestly S on that. It's got a little more of an edge, and I appreciate it. You know, adventurer. This is one of the more recent guys. I guess I'm kind of doing the Vagabonds out of order. This little owl guy, you know, I like him. I like him. He's a little pensive like the other ones. I like that this looks kind of like eyebrows, but we can tell from the card that he is actually more grumpy than the other ones. And I understand that, you know, it's, it's a hard time out there. It's war out in this woodland, but 
I don't know. I, 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 I think they're trying to do a little bit of a perspective thing here. Like he's kind of turning a little bit. That's why it's off center there, but I don't know if it works. Maybe just because it's inconsistent with the other ones that don't have perspective, but uh, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't care for that as much. I don't really think the red, the sort of reddish brown here really works with the, uh, the kind of beige-ish uh, color. <sighs> I'm gonna say, honestly, if any of these were gonna be, I'd say this is F. That's, that's our first F tier. He's okay. But compared to the rest of them, it's not great. I don't, I don't care for it. Arbiter. Now we're getting into the Badger. Uh, it's interesting that this one, he has blue ink, despite uh, despite on the card having black markings, but I'm okay with that. I like a Badger, and I like that it does differentiate him, make him a little more readable. We're starting to get into a point where, um, if you look at like the Eerie over here, it, it's such a simple design. It's just an eye and an eyebrow. But now we're getting into, Eyes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, like everything going on. Or is that the mouth or is that just sort of a mustache up top? Hmm, you know, I'm not really sure. The, the designs are starting to get kind of busy, which I, I like the simplicity a little more, but oh, it does look really nice. Hmm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say D. I don't really like how busy the design is, you know? It's all right, it's a little sassy, but I don't, I don't really care for how busy that one is. Tinker, that would be the, uh, the squirrel here. Now, I, I like this. See, it's a profile, but it's kind of a three quarters profile. Unlike the owl, which had like a little bit of a perspective thing going on, this leaned into it. That's a, a three quarter view. It's a little dark in the camera. I apologize. That guy, that's a good guy right there. You know, he's got the, the big teeth. Uh, he doesn't have as much, he, he, he's a little more milk toast on this. You know, he's got a little bit more of a scowl on the card, but in the meeple, he's just kind of a, he's just kind of, checking out his surroundings, which, hmm, I feel like losing that personality kind of knocks him down a little bit. I'd say I don't got a problem with him, and I do like how uh, how detailed the figure is, so I'm just gonna say, I'll put him at C. He's okay, but he's a little below average to me. Scoundrel, okay, now we're getting into something. Now this guy, this orange face here and everything, I like that it uses the negative space to uh, dry out the face. I guess that's supposed to just be kind of a shading thing in the ears there with the uh, the double lines. Come on now, come on. I know you can focus. There we go. Okay, he's he's a little dark for the camera here, but that's that's because he was originally a Halloween guy and I, I love Halloween so much that I think I gotta put him pretty high up. Is he an A or is he an S? Honestly, it feels like going back to basics while still keeping some of the busier stuff and I really like the origin of his character. I'm gonna say that's an S. I, I really like that one. S tier, okay. And now the last one here, the Harrier. Blue on uh, black, is this black? No, this is more, this is a dark brown. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a blue on a dark brown, which is a very, very odd combination. Kind of makes me think of, uh, they had the, the winter Lucky Charms that were like hot cocoa with like blue. So brown and blue, which was a, a strange combo, and it's a strange combo here. Mm, it's a pretty busy design, but there's a lot of personality here. You see how, you see the sort of sassy cocked brow like that, and the, the sort of squigglies in the ear there. There's a lot going on, but I think, uh, I think that's for the better here. There's a lot going on, and I don't know about the color scheme, so I can't quite put this at an S, but that's pretty quality. I like that a lot. I like the, the separate ears. That's a nice touch. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that in A. That's a pretty quality one. Now we're getting down to the last two here. There we go, sorry. Autofocus is the only way I can really do this because it's going back and forth and back and forth and I'm on the phone camera, so apologies. We got the Corvid. Corvid Conspiracy. Come on, come on. Corvid. So they are these purple guys and they they harken back to the, the eerie, you know, they're their own thing, but they are even less busy. They've got just the eye. And the eye isn't even really shaped in a specific way. It's just uh, concentric circles like that. A lot of it just comes from the shape. The detail in the shape here is very interesting. We got the the shouty mouth. We got the the sort of roughly feathers on the back, which I, I really like. Yeah, and actually if you look, it's kind of, it's cut in here. So it doesn't go to the back, but it's like, it gives the illusion of the roughly feathers. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, it's, it's simple. It stands out with the, the deep purple, it's it's very simple art, but it's got a nice shape to it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that's a, that's another S. Then finally, we get into our last guy here, the underground Dutchie. 
Now these are little mole guys, and I, I am a huge fan of moles as an animal. This guy does not disappoint. Look at the, the heckin' schnoz on this guy. Look at the dang nose on him. That's a huge honkin' nose. That's that's gonna bump up a few points for me, definitely. At least a tier, probably two tiers. Yeah, that 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 nose, that, that really puts him ahead. I like the expression. I like this sort of peaceful, you know, closed eye look because moles are blind, or at least that's a prevailing idea. I'm not I'm not a, a biologist, so I don't really know, or whatever studies moles. Yeah, I like the I like the shape of the, the thing here. It's it's again it's pretty simple, just two nostrils. The eye in the negative space and the kind of roughly on the bottom really, really does does the job there. I'd say the shape is very interesting because it's just a kind of a mound, but it's got this, this dang heckin' schnoz right here. So, hmm, where do I want to put this guy? I like him a lot. Something about him just doesn't hit it for me, though. Uh, I'd say C, but that, 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 that nose, man. Ooh. I think I might have to put him at B. B at the very least, he's above average. He's a quality, quality guy. All right, so that is the tier list with all uh, seven, six, 13, 16 current meeples for Root, which they've said they might do some more expansions. They're working on other stuff right now, so I won't blame them if uh, they wait, take their time on this. But yeah, that's all of them ranked. And as you can see, it's definitely a an upward curve. I really do enjoy all of these meeples. They're so good. I love Kyle Farron's art. I love seeing something like this. It's all relative. I would say that as far as board game components go, this is like above and beyond. These are still high quality, but they do have to be relative. So that's the, my least favorite of this bunch, but I still love them all. They're all, all my, my beautiful, beautiful children. That's my ranking. Let me know in the comments what your ranking would be if you uh, disagree with any of my any of my reasoning, what your reasoning would be for putting them higher or lower. What you think about all of this, you know, what what you think about Root as a game, what you think about Root as a design. And yeah, let me know, hit like, do that comment, and just uh, thanks a ton for watching guys.